this video is going to be useful to you if you've just cleared uh, class 11 and taken admission to class 12 and either are in the process of starting class 12 or have already started class 12. In the last video, we had talked about can we prepare for competitive exam along with class 12. If you want to view that video, the description uh, in the description box, you can you can find the link to that particular video of IPMAT. Today's session, I will talk about how you can prepare for a competitive exam along with class 12th. Hello and welcome. My name is Manish Kane and I welcome you all to this session on behalf of Pathfinder. Before I begin, if you are planning to prepare for IPMAT 2023 exam, you are free to inquire with us for our courses which include live classes, video lectures, GK lectures, practice tests, mock tests. You can find some mentors, student mentors and other mentors also. And the course includes PDF books and sheets and even doubt clearing. For more details, you can inquire with us on this number 9343921347 and we'll be more than happy to respond to your queries. So let us get started with a brief overview of what we did in the last session. So in the last session, we did talk about how it is possible for you or why it is possible for you to prepare for a competitive exam along with class 12. So most of the students are practically confused and they spend and waste half of their time in this confusion. Should I prepare for class 12 alone or should I prepare for both class 12 as well as competitive exams? And I told you why preparing for competitive exam along with class 12 makes a lot of sense for each one of you. Today, let us see how we can make that possible. What is the first thing you need to do if you're planning to write class 12th and one of the several competitive exams or, or at least a few of the several competitive exams that you can write after class 12th. First is make a list of those exams and also try to identify what kind of subjects can create problems for you in class 12. So this is the first thing you need to do. The second thing is look at your class 12th subjects. Try to identify which are the tough courses for use in, in particular. Talk to your teachers, talk to your seniors, talk to your parents, talk to anybody who matters who can advise you on this. Try to see which courses are tough so that you start spending some time on tough courses right from the first day. Also, try to seek some question papers, the older question papers to just have an idea of what kind of questions have been appearing in those subjects. So this is something which you need to do about class 12. Then you need to look at competitive exams the syllabus for competitive exams which you are writing. If there is no defined syllabus, at least have an idea of what kind of topics will be asked. Mostly, if you are appearing for a non-engineering or a non-medical exam, the topics that will be asked will be aptitude, reasoning, current affairs or general knowledge and English language. Most of the exams will have these four sections. And then, you need to have a plan A and a plan B. What is a plan A? Plan A could be your dream institute. You know, I want to get into an IIM Indore. I want to get into IIT Madras. These are my dream institutes. This is your plan A. So what about plan B? If I don't make it to a dream institute, what will I do? Will I take a drop? Or will I join the best possible college that I get, get admission to this year? and then prepare again at the PG level. This is your plan B. Remember, plan A and plan B is also important because that doesn't create, you know, it helps you by providing stability to your preparation and it also ensures that you don't have an unnecessary pressure facing while you're preparing. You need to know that if you, if you make it, you have a very good college in hand and if you don't make it, you still haven't lost everything. And therefore, that element of pressure is just a little less on you if you have a plan B in mind. 
The next thing in this stage of planning is have deadlines. Deadlines for when you would want to complete the syllabus for class 12th. And if there is a syllabus for competitive exam, by when would you like to complete syllabus on your own uh, for, for the competitive exam in mind? Another very important factor that you need to consider at this juncture is coaching join kare ya nahi kare. Ye important hai. Let me very honestly put uh, or tell you something very very bluntly. To clear an exam, it is not essential to join a coaching. मैं कोचिंग करता हूँ पढ़ा रहा हूँ बहुत सालों से पढ़ा रहा हूँ फिर भी ये कहता हूँ टू क्लियर एन एग्जाम एनी कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम इट इज नॉट एसेंशियल टू ज्वाइन अ कोचिंग हैविंग सेट दैट यू विल ऑलवेज बी बेटर ऑफ इफ यू ज्वाइन कोचिंग मतलब कोचिंग ज्वाइन करोगे तो फायदे में जरूर रहोगे क्या फायदे हो सकते हैं कोचिंग ज्वाइन करने के कोचिंग ज्वाइन करने का सबसे पहला फायदा ये होगा कि आपके डिसिप्लिन तरीके से कोर्स खत्म होगा जिसके बारे में आप अंदाज नहीं लगा सकते हो अगर आप अपने मन से प्रिपेयर करोगे तो सबसे पहला फायदा ये है सेकेंड थिंग वेन यू ज्वाइन कोचिंग यू लर्न अबाउट द सिलेबस यू लर्न अबाउट सो मेनी थिंग्स अराउंड द कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स दैट यू आर फेसिंग दैट ऑन योर ओन यू माइट बी एबल टू लर्न बट उसमें टाइम बहुत लग जाएगा यू विल वेस्ट यू विल एंड ऑफ वेस्टिंग अलॉट ऑफ टाइम और तीसरी चीज भाई आपने क्लास टेंथ में कोचिंग लिए है आपने क्लास ट्वेल्थ के सब्जेक्ट्स के लिए कोचिंग लिए क्लास इलेवेंथ के सब्जेक्ट्स के लिए कोचिंग लिए और अब व्हेन यू आर व्हेन यू आर गोइंग टू फेस वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एग्जाम्स ऑफ योर लाइफ डोंट यू थिंक इट इज रेलेवेंट फॉर यू टू डू योर बेस्ट एंड ट्राई टू अचीव योर बेस्ट बट अल्टीमेटली दैट डिसीजन इज लेफ्ट अन टू यू यू आर द बेस्ट जज ऑफ योर सिचुएशन आई कैन ओनली प्रोवाइड यू माई पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू नेक्स्ट After planning comes another very important stage that is implementation and in fact this is the more difficult stage why is it the more difficult stage kyunki jaise hi aap taiyari shuru karoge aapko samajh mein aayega jab 12th ki padhai karoge to competitive exam ki padhai yaad aayegi aur jab competition ki padhai karoge to 12th ki padhai yaad aayegi aur jab dono ki padhai karoge to fir samajh mein aayega ki khud ke liye kuch time bachta hi nahi hai this happens with every 12th class student and successful students are those who are able to manage this very well the implementation planning karna to aasan hai what about implementation what about being disciplined yahan pe thodi si dikkat hai because being disciplined day after day day after day for one full year or maybe two full years might not be as easy as it sounds to bhai sabse pehli cheez apna time available jano time available kya hota hai 24 फोर आवर्स माइनस द टाइम यू स्पेंड इन स्कूल माइनस द टाइम यू रिक्वायर टू स्लीप आइडियली फॉर एन एवरेज एडल्ट दैट वुड बी अराउंड सेवन आवर्स दिस इज योर टाइम अवेलेबल देन डिवाइड दिस टाइम इन टू थ्री वाटर टाइट कंपार्टमेंट्स फर्स्ट वाटर टाइट कंपार्टमेंट इज क्लास ट्वेल्थ सेकेंड वाटर टाइट कंपार्टमेंट इज कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम and third water tight compartment is yourself khud ka time hona chahiye wo bhi zaruri hai so roughly 45% of the times you start like this only 45% for class 12th 45% of the available time to competitive exam 10% of the available time to yourself that is how it goes to agar aapke paas total 10 ghante hain तो साढ़े चार साढ़े चार घंटे आप पढ़ाई करोगे एक एक तरफ कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम की ये मैं रफ फिगर्स दे रहा हूँ राइट दीज आर जस्ट टू हेल्प यू गाइड हेल्प यू आइडेंटिफाई हाउ टू इम्प्लीमेंट द प्लान देन वंस यू क्रिएट वाटर टाइट कंपार्टमेंट टेल योर सेल्फ वेरी क्लियरली अगर सुबह छः बजे से लेके नौ बजे तक का टाइम क्लास ट्वेल्थ का है तो उसमें कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम के बारे में सोचना भी नहीं है डोंट इवन थिंक ऑफ कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम and if evening 7 to 10 is for competitive exam preparation then don't even dream of 12th class during that time by doing so you are going to ensure that you concentrate better on whatever you are studying ye bahut important hai it is not as easy as it sounds par aapko ye karna padega apni bhalai ke liye for your own good correct then 
create your yearly deadline so if you have a deadline that by december 2022 i'll finish off the entire syllabus so you need to divide this deadline into months april mein kya may mein kya june mein kya and so on till how you will accomplish your target in the month of december you can accomplish the target only if you accomplish every month target you cannot suddenly say that i'll study for 15 days and i'll finish class 12th syllabus in 115 days and then class 12 competitive exam syllabus in another 15 days that is not going to be feasible for you plan for breaks plan for holidays do keep these things in mind when you are planning your implementation stage for example everybody knows around diwali you need a day at least a day off to wo plan mein le lo aap apne so that aapko aisa na lage ki diwali ke din aap diwali ki jagah aap exam ke bare mein socho because when you create a plan and when you create a provision for something fir aapko chinta nahi hoti fir aapko pata hai ki ha aaj ka din to maine apne liye free choda tha na so you know that you don't get disturbed by the fact that you are enjoying diwali today or maybe any other festival start working and stick to your deadlines be very very severe on yourself look here successful students are those who are always severe on themselves for non achievement of goals agar aapne ek din ka koi target achieve nahi kiya hai to aapko kahin na kahin kisi na kisi form mein ek penalty apne liye rakhni chahiye isse kya hoga इससे आपको खुद को डिसिप्लिन में रहने रखने में मदद मिलेगी वॉट इज द नेक्स्ट थिंग दैट यू ऑट टू डू द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज फीडबैक अनदर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेज मोस्ट स्टूडेंट्स आई हैव सीन ये लोग मेहनत तो करते हैं पर अपनी मेहनत को मेजर करने से कतराते हैं यू नो दे आई दर रन अवे फ्रॉम टेस्टिंग दम सेल्व दे डोंट ट्राई टू असेस वेयर दे स्टैंड फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम एंड ट्रस्ट मी a monthly assessment a weekly assessment a monthly or a weekly assessment is going to be central to your success bhi agar aapne koi target banaya hai to aapko dekhna to padega na kahan ja rahe ho and that is why this assessment is a must so if you have a deadline you should also have an assessment goal and you should try to meet your assessment goals every month every week this will ensure this will make you feel more confident about your preparation and if there is any uh, any mistake that you're making it will also help you take corrective action in time the corrective action baad mein lene ka koi fayda nahi hai jo corrective action aapko april mein le lena chahiye agar aap usko october mein lenge to uska shayad utna bada fayda nahi hoga so please make sure that you always learn to measure yourself Do, never run away from testing yourself never run away from identifying your mistakes aur kabhi koi mentor ya koi bhi agar aapko ek negative feedback de raha hai to hamari aadat hoti hai hum negative feedback ko counter karte hain right never counter somebody when he or she is giving you a feedback listen to that feedback very carefully us waqt to kabhi bhi counter nahi karna chahiye you will only stop the flow of that feedback us feedback ko leke aaram se socho jo sahi lagta hai उसको यूज करो जो सही नहीं लगता उसको छोड़ दो बट नेवर काउंटर समबड़ी नेवर इंटरफियर वाइल समबड़ी इज गिविंग यू अ फीडबैक स्पेशली अ नेगेटिव वन कीप टॉकिंग टू योर मेंटर्स कीप टॉकिंग टू योर सीनियर्स एंड मेक श्योर दैट यू वर्क अ लॉट ऑन योर फीडबैक सो ब्रॉडली दीज आर द थिंग्स यू नीड टू डू इन ऑर्डर टू मेक अ सक्सेस ऑफ योर ट्वेल्थ ट्वेल्थ क्लास प्रिपरेशन एंड your competitive exam preparation so with this i come to an end of today's session but before i say thank you i would like to remind you batches are starting very soon for ip mat 2023 and hsw 2023 please inquire with us to inquire with us send a whatsapp on 93439 to 1347 and we will respond to you thank you very much